behind the mask. Is it not full? <laughs> you like? Do you like my my mask? Beautiful, isn't it? It's very beautiful. This is, in my view, the true jester's look. So the jester is a fool. And we use this term in our world. When we wish to depreciate someone or we think someone is doing something very foolish. In other words, the opposite of wise. Sometimes in life you have to be foolish. And that means stepping out of the comfort zone, being prepared to do something different. And you may appear a fool to others. So to explain that more fully, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's explain it more fully. I want you to be fools with me. I'm going to read you my poem that I wrote. It's called A Fool's Quantum Leap into a Future Ready for Possibilities. Today, September 11. No coincidences in this life. This is coming from my blog, um, Pieces Our True Nature. And I start with, the ending will usher in a new beginning. The name of this poem is A Fool's Quantum Leap into a Future Ready for Possibilities. I dip the ink into an endless well. I swirl and tap for the words drip from the tip of the quill. I become still. As inspiration flows into the heart of my inquiry, the agora for some is only a word. It is a meeting place. For me, it is a space where words rise to action, where thoughts become audible, where courage stands on principle and individuality challenges what is unquestioned. As the search for truth penetrates the heart of ignorance, ushering in a new light as a quantum leap into the unknown. Does order format from control or virtue? Does co cooperation pattern from roles or sentiment? Is harmony conformity to a structure or flows of recourse? Is education a business program or liberation from worldly constraints? Is reality the real world of belief or awareness awakening? For we arrive from zero point and return to it. Yet we are trained to see what we believe. Imagine believing and then seeing as the enlightenment of quantum mechanics ushers in infinite possibility as an impossible staircase leading nowhere, yet now here. A culture of expansive exploration is an open space initiative. No questions are off limit. No inquiry is intrusive. No doors are closed. For open door policies welcome critic and colleague alike, as courage is the mirror of infinite possibilities, where there is no fear of exposure or censure, no insecurity of being seen as the fool. For to step off into the unknown, one has to become a fool. The fool speaks of the earth as a sphere when many see careers. The fool takes the risk to step out of convention when many seek to conform. 
The fool sees the well-trodden path no longer works, whilst many bury their heads in the sand. Yet shifting sands remove traces of what was as the slate must be cleaned to begin again. Our earth is changing rapidly. Our economic system is collapsing repeatedly. For there is no quantitative easing that can supply our excessive demand. Markets are closing for business as there are diminishing returns to the Earth Charter. Yet we live in infinite growth modelling when there are clear limits to growth. For we have decoupled our humanity from trade. We can no longer hear ourselves in the tirade. Many focused on horses for courses in a race to the finish. Tone deaf to calls to change the form guide. For we are guided to change one way or another. One can hide under cover or come out into the open and seem the fool. For it was Lao Tzu who stated in 600 BC, It is the responsibility of those who know to tell the blind horseman on the blind horse that he is heading towards the abyss. Yet all fools know the ending is the beginning. For to step off the cliff of what is known without fear is the beginning of true freedom. And this is the fool's gold that offers a higher gold standard as the real wealth of nations. So we're moving into times, as you all know, you can see the climate changing. We've seen the hurricanes and earthquakes. We understand that the Greenland permafrost is starting to melt. When polar bears are drowning out at sea, that's a very visible sign that the ice caps are melting. And what's fascinating when one looks into the face of humanity is they keep business as usual going because that is the only reality that's understood and it feels comfortable. It looks like abundance. Nobody's panicking, so nobody's panicking. <laughs> So we're on the precipice of great change. And so the message in that poem is to be the fool. Be a fool. Be an idiot. Say what you want to say and don't worry about what anyone thinks. Just do it non-violently is the key here. Do it with humour if you can. If you have a sense of humour, use it. <laughs> As I've stated very clearly in the poem, this is actually an ending, but it's a beginning. We are here to be the change we wish to see. Now is the absolutely right point in which to create real change that serves humanity. There is more and more talk about a global basic income. I think this is a terrific idea. I thought of it many years ago myself as a practical approach to equality and also enabling a level playing field so if people have ideas, they can start to work on them without having to worry about survival. But we've stayed within the separated state of consciousness where it's all about my best interests over yours rather than shared best interests. The planet doesn't operate like that. It's all an interconnected global system that's been refined over billions of years through natural selection. Things out of harmony die off. We humans are out of harmony at this time because we're not even in harmony within ourselves. And if you look into the hero's journey, the fool's journey, you'll see that the mythical fool is the one who steps off the cliff and appears to be stepping into thin air, so it seems crazy. And yet life creates a platform for that fool to step onto. But the fool is innocent and in trust and just stepping out. So the fool is living in the moment. The fool is very happy because the fool has what the fool wants. I call it the fool's gold. 
fool's gold of the virtues, I call it real hope. You'll have to look at my website, I won't go through it now, but real hope are universal values. The universal values is what brings you back into alignment with your true nature. It's the rainbow bridge. And what that means is instead of trying to think it and solve it, we go into the heart and we feel it. We feel for our future. And it has to become one of unity and oneness. We have to see each other as ourselves, as family. The time of self-interest and selfishness has to dissolve because it's not in alignment with the natural order, which is interconnected. It's a, a love-based system. And that is where we're going. So call me a fool. I'll answer to it. <laughs> I'm going to show you my where I am because it's so lovely. So I'm just going to turn this around so you can have a look. There's a nice tree. And then over here. It's beautiful. See? This is the Garden of Eden. We are all stewards on this planet. We have a big responsibility to the next generation. We have to get it right. If we don't, you, know, you will get what you think about, you bring about. This is the law of attraction. You have to become very mindful of how you're thinking. To discard all negativity, you have to start to transform the thinking. I've often recommended in my video blogs, go to the work of Byron Katie to learn how to transform negative thoughts. Now, a lot of us, if not all of us, are carrying pain from our childhoods. You have to become very present. Stillness is the key. And when you feel the pain come up, which is discomfort of any, any sort, you sit with it, make peace with it, allow it to move through. Our conflicts around the world are because we haven't resolved conflict inside ourselves. We keep projecting onto the other and that's why we keep finding enemies because we haven't been prepared to look within at the discord and the hurt. And this is going to be part of this new consciousness that's rising on the planet right now is to become fully responsible for your thoughts, words and actions. And this brings us into alignment with harmony. This will be the new currency of love on the planet. So we're actually on the precipice of a very exciting time and we're about to jump off. <laughs> so I'll jump with you. <laughs> I'll grab your hand. <laughs> I'm a fool for peace always. And if you want to go to my website, www.worldpeace.com, full f u -L -L, dot com fear nothing become fearless i send you fearlessness i send you infinite possibilities and most importantly i send you love take care and your happy destiny is unavoidable